Kovács nevezni, de az Laha, én kapra az én The Lord said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. And what happens in Ukraine affects us deeply here in the United States of America. And it affects not only Ukrainians, but also all freedom-loving people throughout the world. All people whose, whose nations have known it's not just those who died that we've lost. We've lost their future descendants. Those who would have built the nation even to, to be even stronger, more freedom-loving. Over the past two weeks, the world has watched Russia launch an unjust and violent invasion into Ukraine. During these turbulent times, we earnestly pray for those whose lives are affected by this brutal assault. Violence is a sin. Violence is a sin in perfect contradiction with the vocation for which men and women were created. We are witnessing an immense tragedy of human suffering, the targeting of civilians, the assassination and terror, and the death of innocents, especially children. When I look out in this room, yes, I hear the words of prayer on your lips. Those are powerful words, heartfelt words. But I also see tremendous pain in your eyes. I also sense defiance in your souls. That defiance encapsulates what has captivated the world as you watch Ukrainians stand up, women grabbing weapons and going to the front line, some taking their children to safety, but others saying, I'll stand with the men and we'll fight back. Those are powerful images and a reminder to all of us that freedom is not free, it must be fought for. Elie Wiesel said years ago, Reverend, the tragedy of the Holocaust was that those who should have been shouting were silent. We come here today and we proclaim that we will shout over and over again. Because when we said never again, after the war, we didn't put a question mark after it. We put an exclamation mark after it. And as we come here, and we say we can discuss and debate a no-fly zone. But there is one thing we can't do. That is, there should be a no Christ. We should never ever see innocent people mercilessly. God can bring good out of evil. God can bring good out of evil. We are seeing raw evil in Ukraine in its irrational invasion. Are we not also seeing radiant good in that the world has united as never before, and I say that as an historian, in standing up to it? Today is birthday of the voice of Ukraine, of the Kops of Kobzar, the Russian chapter. And I would like to conclude with his own words. He said, Боріться, поборете, вам Бог помагає. За вас правда, за вас слова і воля свята. Keep fighting. You are 
here to win. God helps you in your fight for fame and freedom. March with you. Slava Ukraini! Είχαμε μια πολύ συγκινητική εκδήλωση για το πολύ μεγάλο θέμα της Ουκρανίας. Είμαστε όλος ο κόσμος και φυσικά εμείς εδώ υπέρ της ταχύτατης καταπαύσεως αυτής της πραγματικά απαραδέκτου εισβολής στην Ουκρανία η οποία εστίγησε ζωές, εστίγησε, δημιούργησε πρόβλημα προσφύγων, δημιουργεί μια κατάσταση φοβερή και προσευχόμεθα και αγωνιζόμεθα για την ταχύτερη λύση και τέλος αυτής της τραγωδίας που έχει πλήξει την Ουκρανία. Είμαστε βέβαιοι ότι ο Θεός τελικά θα δικαιώσει αυτούς τους Ουκρανούς αδελφούς μας οι οποίοι έχουν ταλαιπωρηθεί πολλές φορές και επιστάλλει και μετά με τους Γερμανούς και σήμερα. Ευχόμεθα να τελειώσει γρήγορα αυτή η τραγωδία που εισήγησε. Είμαστε βέβαιοι ότι ο Θεός θα βοηθήσει. May Christ our true God through the prayers of His most holy mother of our holy and God-bearing fathers and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us for He is good and the lover of all mankind. Amen.